What's up everybody, Remington from Impulse Creative, and today we're gonna to talk about the Drift Chat deep dive into chatbot actions. Now, there's a lot of different things you can do with conversational marketing and Drift, and Drift has a whole bunch of tools that they're adding into the middle of the conversations to allow for you to leverage the conversation more effectively and do a variety of things. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive deep into each one of these actions in this tutorial. can use actions throughout the entire bot conversation to trigger different outcomes based on the user's response. This could be a variety of things. This could be that you want to trigger certain emails. This could be that you want to collect certain data and store fields that drive to different segments in your list and also, of course, would trigger other actions in other platforms. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig into each one of these together and from there, Let's have a conversation about how you use these on a day-to-day -day basis. So as you see here, what we've done is we're in a Drift Chat playbook. Now this Drift Chat playbook, it allows for us to go through and choose all of our different questions and answers that we want on the screen. And you've got this option here to add new, add new options. So you get questions, email captures, phone captures, goals, and now the ability to route a conversation. And there's a new tutorial on that right here. As we go into the individual conversations, there's a lot of opportunity to leverage certain things. And one of those things are these actions. So as you see in the visual builder, you've got these options to see where all of these um, conversations route. And you can see as you hover over these, a little plus icon that you can see right here pops up. So you can choose any one of these as an example. You hit that plus icon and you've got the option of understanding what is possible. Now. In this example, just browsing has been clicked. That's the option that would drive this action and where these actions would be housed. And you have the ability to now mark as a chat qualified lead. We're gonna go ahead and press plus on that. You can choose the level of lightning for the chat qualified leads in order to figure out how interesting or how qualified a particular prospect is. You can also choose a lead stage. So when we add a lead stage, you can drop that in just similar to a goal. You can drop that in and you can start to identify users based on the interaction that they have, but yet still continue the conversation. So where this comes in handy, you may wanna put a flag on a, on a specific contact, whether they're raising their hand or whether they're disqualifying themselves, but maybe you don't wanna end the conversation right at that moment. This allows for that to happen by editing the lead stage. Now, as you scroll down, you can apply a contact attribute. This is actually quite important. You can go through and start to apply contact attributes in regards to certain stages where people are choosing. Maybe they're going down two different paths in your chatbot flow and what you want to do is segment them as a user. You could have a commercial or a residential option in your business and by asking the questions you can define that and it might be something beyond collecting the data and putting it into the CRM. This could actually just be more of a triggering action for you to trigger other automation down the road. So with the applying the contact attribute, you can jump into the attributes and of course you can choose anything that's in your drift system. And of course, any of those items can also be synced with your CRM. And then of course you get to set the value. Now this value isn't something that's gonna be set dynamically. The prospect is not going to be able to set this um, individually. So this would be something you would, what you would do is for instance, if someone said, yes, subscribe me to your blog, you could go, you could type in blog subscribe and you could say yes. And what that would do is as they go through this flow, it would set the contact attribute in addition to any other questions or concerns that they have. Then at the bottom here, you have tag conversation. Now tag conversations can do really well from an admin point of view for you to be able to store conversations or to be able to review them. So maybe you have a conversation tagged for people that make it halfway through but then decide that they're not interested or maybe you have certain qualification or flags in the sand if you will as you're going through. You can simply go into these tag conversations, you can start typing a specific tag and of course you could add a tag uh, by just typing in a new tag, for instance. So if you type new tag, or you could type whatever you want in there, it would create the new tag just by clicking the button. And then you could, of course, change the color and you could save that tag. So now in your listing view of all the conversations, 
you'll be able to search and index your conversations based on these tags. So if you want to remove any of these attributes, you can go ahead and press any of the X's. And then of course, once you have figured out what you want, you can press the X in the top right to return back to the editor. And what you'll do is on any one of these conversation flows, you will see a number, whether it's one or two, and it gives you a nice little pop-up where you can see the details of what you just set in the editor. If you want to edit it, you simply click the number two or the number one, whatever the, the number is, and you can edit anything off to the right. So the opportunities really are endless. Depending on the nature of your chatbot and depending on what you're trying to get out of the conversation, you may be able to set these attributes or use these actions to further extend the capabilities of your bot. Remember, as you're going through and you're building out these bots, you're going to want to find ways to measure, optimize, and increase the effectiveness of your chatbots, and actions might be the way to do it. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you're interested in more videos like this, we have a 30-day conversational marketing masterclass that would be perfect for you. You can head on over to impulsecreative.com slash cmmasterclass for more information. If you'd like to see other tutorials we've done, you can go ahead and you can do that right here. And if you'd like to subscribe to our tutorials, you can go ahead and you can do that right here. Until next time, I'm Remington from Impulse Creative. Have a great day.